Sing country music star Jason Aldean is defending his controversial music video after it was pulled from rotation on CMT. Yeah, you think you're tough. We'll try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Critics have blasted Try That in a Small Town, saying it has a pro-lynching undertone. I can't remember a, a time, at least in the last 30 years, where um, a video got yanked because uh, suddenly there was an uproar. I'm defending him. Matter of fact, we need 10 more songs. There's a lot of controversy over country star Jason Aldean, whom, by the way, full disclosure, I like a lot of music. I like old school. I don't like new rap. I like old school rap. I like, obviously, old r and I like opera, by the way. I like classical music. And guess what? Yeah, I like country. As a matter of fact, I like country a lot. Why? Some of the words, some of the lyrics, because it kind of reminds us of how we used to think, you know, the normal way of thinking. And so he's under fire for his song, Try That In Small Town. Here's what's bothersome to me. And guess what? I'm defending him. Matter of fact, we need 10 more songs. The problem is this song, they are attacking him as though it is uh, anti-lynch or it is pro-lynching, pro-violence there's racist undertones. No, it's not. Nothing could be further from the truth. As a matter of fact, watch the video, listen to the lyrics. What he's calling out, he's calling out violence. In the video, images are projected on a building, some showing clips of protests, looting, and tense police encounters. Carjacking old lady at a red light. Pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. But Al Dean fired back at critics, tweeting, there is not a single lyric in the song that references race or points to it. And while I can try and respect others to have their own interpretation of a song with music, this one goes too far. Let me just read some of the lyrics. He says, sucker punch somebody on the sidewalk, carjack an old lady at a red light, pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store. Y'all think that's cool? Well, act a fool if you like. In other words, this little foolishness that we're calling out that you people who have a problem with this should also be up in arms, arms about you people in the media who should be bothered by it, but seem to be protesting or promoting it. But you seem to be promoting it, not really caring. Maybe you're giving a pass to people who should not give a pat. You're giving a pass to people who should not be given a pass to. He's saying, try that in the small town. It used to be try that in my neighborhood, try that in front of me. But we have turned our eyes away from any wrongdoing. It's not happening to me, then I don't care. The stupid things that we talk about that we hate seeing when someone says something about it, now he's racist. He's this. He's, no, he's not. Not this. No. And then look at the things that they're bringing up about this man, that he is anti-vaxxer, anti-mask, pro-gun. Okay, well, check, check, and check, because so far, sounds like he's pretty good to me. Aldine says the song is about taking care of your neighbors. Somebody needs some help, you'll get it. In the past, the singer has taken heat for his views. He's been anti-vaccine, anti-masking, uh, and anti-trans, and now pro-guns, pro-running people out of town. But industry experts say don't expect an apology. Remember, that whole vaccine thing, you guys in the media that are now complaining about it, him, you guys got that wrong, not him. They're making a lot about this particular portion of the song, got a gun my granddad gave me. They say one day they're going to round up. Well, that blank might fly in the city. Good luck. His point is, you guys are after guns, and they are, because how do we know? What do they target in this particular song? Now, there's an issue that's happening here. We don't have any regard for civility. And when someone calls it out, well, then the person that calls it out, he's the bad guy. He's the racist. I honestly don't have a problem with anything that he said. I don't have a problem with it at all. Someone's going to come back and say, well, Corey, wait a second. You mean tell me this racist white guy, you're standing up for him? Yeah, first of all, he's not a racist, nothing that he said. I can find that's racist. And I wouldn't have a problem with someone black or someone Hispanic or someone Asian saying the exact same thing. We didn't used to have that. As a matter of fact, we probably used to say try that here in our country, but this isn't the same country anymore, clearly. Aldean says the song is about taking care of your neighbors. Somebody needs some help, you'll get it. Now, the question was asked, can you find some sort of backing in maybe the Bible in Philippians 2, 3? Yeah, maybe. Here's what it says. Do nothing from selfish or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. And you can kind of see the there are some neighborly overtones in this. And that's kind of what maybe you could say that that Jason Aldean is preaching about. Um, <laughs> it says, Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also the interests of others. 
And I can see a little bit of that in his song, though that's not really what this verse is talking about. But the point that, that, that needs to be made is that you regard not just your stuff, but also others. You don't like disrespect for the law. You don't like disrespect for just civilization. And so you have a problem with that. You would think that America would have a problem with that. Look at the images, the things that are portrayed in the video. None of these things are good. He's calling this out. And people have a problem with that. But then again, woe to those who call good evil and evil good. That's what's happening here. And just FYI, somebody like him and in those small towns, I'd much rather be around those kind of people than the people that we see in the streets doing these things all these horrific, violent things. Yeah, I'd much rather be around these other guys. And someone can get at me all they want, which is fine. Listen, I grew up in pretty bad conditions. I grew up in the streets, grew up in the hood. And so it's not like I'm, I'm someone that came from the good side of the tracks that I'm some um, sellout to the race or what have you. No, uh, if, if, if you have a problem with what he says, you are a sellout to civility. You are a sellout to common sense. And then also who else should be ashamed of themselves? CMT and anyone else that has a problem with what the man said. Now, I don't know about Jason Aldean's life. I don't know if he's an actual believer or not. I have no idea. I hope and pray that he is. But in the meantime, in regards to what he just sang about what he's saying, God bless him.